What's up, you two people? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf. All right, back up a little. Back it up, back it up. Okay, right there, somewhere in there. Jazzy. All right, maybe a little closer. Right, nope, nope, nope. Yeah, right there. Cool. All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf. Um, you know, I always got to be a little weird, do my thing. All right, so this particular video is about one of the ordeals in getting the birth certificate authenticated. Now, you guys, I know I said you should get your COLB, Certificate of Life Birth, authenticated. If it's too much hassle, just use the COLB as is. Um, it can, you can use it either way because, remember, it's private. Um, it's just if you can get it done, do it. And if your state won't do it, the Department of State will. Also remember that if it comes down to it, make your own. You can get one from mine from Blackside32 and just uh, get it notarized. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We've already done that and much, much more. Moi, moi. All right, so this particular video is going to be um, about, uh, was it New, New York? New, New York. Is, that, is it New Yorker? Okay. Okay, you got a car keys. What is that? Who's this guy? Do we know this guy? Do we know we don't know this guy? All right. Um, <clears throat> sorry if I offended anybody out there. You know, sinuses and that. Anyway, just having fun. Just teasing. Um, so we're gonna call him Tom. Uh, thanks, Tom, for this particular in information because he was having a rough time getting his done. And you know how we do it here. Um, if we have to network and bring things to light to make it easier for the next person like our ancestors and forefathers and forefathers before them then we shall do it okay we will not go quietly in the night now remember everything here guys is educational information on belligerent non-combatants um, American nationals, state citizens, foreign nationals and what's its and who's its and whatnots. okay so let's get going all right, so although he has not gotten all of his stuff back I did ask him to share his story so that I can share with you guys so that uh, the next person can be enlightened, especially if you're in the same state or you have a, a state that's similar. So, let's go. I'm going to read what his ordeal was um, and how he got it done. Ready? All right. Action. All right, so, Wolf, I have not 100% completed it yet, so I do not have everything in hand. But I do have some examples. You must order the documents through Vital Check and receive Vault, V-A-U-L-T, copies. Okay, so remember, this is New York. Uh, we're going to call him Tom. Um, hopefully Tom doesn't mind using his name, but I'm not giving away his last name, so we should be good. Bing! All right, so you get Vault copies from Vital Check. This is how he started. Had to place several orders before getting the terminology down properly. But selecting apostille as the reason for ordering documents seems to always deliver a letter of exemplification, exemplification along with the document. Now we're going to get into why that's, well, you know, we'll just, let's just do it now. Apparently the way they do theirs, you need this particular document in order to get it done and I think he's going to break that down later on. So exemplification this is my first time hearing that you need this out of the state of New York. Um, or, yeah. So here we go. Let's go on. How do you spell that? Exemplification. Okay. Okay, so going on. I attached a certificate of live birth and the exemplification, which is a white sheet. He says below, but I'm not going to show you his. Um... When you take them to the county county clerk, which for him was 60 Center Street for the five boroughs, whatever that means there, um, just say you're going to get them apostille to keep it simple. Apparently they give you a hard time for saying anything but that, so there you guys go. Um, they stamp and staple it, a pink sheet more or less, notarizing the document also below. Fill out the Department of State 1917F. Double check the specific payment method listed. Make sure to enclose a way for them to send it back to you as specified. Well, that part we know, so thank you, though. The instructions. And mail it to the New York 
Department of State. I received the certificate of live birth back with a white sheet staple on top of it that contained a similar wording to that of the pink sheet, but with the Deputy Secretary of State's signature on it. It did not say apostille or authentication anywhere. Just a certification that the deputy registrar was on duty at the time stated. I do not have this on hand to photograph as it's currently being authenticated on the federal level. But I will update you when it gets back. I tried to follow this process for my short form certificate picture below, but when I arrived at the county clerk with the exemplification letter to receive the pink sheet, they were very rude and kept repeating that I shouldn't have received that paper. The exemplification paper. Okay. With the short form. Okay. So apparently there's a thing there where if you have the short form, which most people, that's why we usually tell you guys to try to get the long form. Okay. But he had the short one. Um, they said, you are, you shouldn't have gotten that paper. So for those people out there, this is educational information only. Um, do what's best for you and yours. But we go on. Um, they said they don't do that here and handed me a sheet with the Bureau of Vital Records address and a small highlighted blurb about the long form certificate of live birth pictured below. I thought this was BS so I went home and did a little more research, looked a little closer at this link as it states here. Okay, so hold on one second, let's see what else we got here. Okay, so he talks about the ability for them to do notarized documents. It says notarized documents must be must be certified by the county clerk or the county where the notary is certified to notarize. He goes, I guess this must be the part where for those people who do homemade CLBs. Um, birth, death, and marriage certificates issued by New York State Department of Health bearing a signature of the Director of Vital Statistics or the New York New York's Registrar may be submitted for apostille or certification of authentication and do not require a county clerk certification. Okay, so both my Certificate of Live Birth and Short Form have the signature of the City Registrar as the city is my local county. Since the clerk wouldn't attach the pink slip to the Short Form I sent the short form and the exemplification letter to the New York Department of State directly. Uh, we'll update that as well when I hear back. So there you guys have it. So if you're in New York, that is how at least one particular individual got his done. Um, maybe your experience will be different, but keep that in mind if you're trying to get your stuff authenticated um, in that particular state. So there you go. I'm not there. It's a lot easier here in Wisconsin. I mean, here the people are a little um, <clears throat> interesting and in choice as well. But uh, they have it just out there as it is. Here it is. Bam. Send it back. Send it to us. Send it back. Bam, bam, bam. That's it. So, but each state, I told you guys, a little bit different. Because remember, the word state is synonymous with the word country. And one of the things you guys got to think of, even though I know we're all together and we're all like United States of America, which is now under the Hague. For those people who didn't know, didn't see the other video. Um, don't forget, some states or countries that are here are privately owned. You got your commonwealths, you got whatever else. So your state, they can do things a little bit differently, but who owns them? Who owns jurisdictional areas in them? Keep that in mind. Um, that could that's one of the reasons why there's a difference i don't know what's going on with louisiana but they 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 got something going on down there that they're just separate from like almost everybody else too and there's a couple commonwealths and some other things but these are the the background informational things that uh you know that i don't want to say they don't want you to know but let's just say it's forgotten so that's it guys bad wolf's over and out i uh, hope you guys learned something if not well then keep watching the videos because you are bound to
Till then, talk to you later. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe.